Welcome back, welcome back, and in all, glad you all could come back to hear the word, and only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher, and I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you, it is he that woke us up, we didn't wake ourselves up, no, we can't do that, we can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them, when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Glory be to a higher, today, we're still in the book of Zechariah, on chapter 7. A question about going without eating. Before I begin, before we begin our reading and our prayer, hallelujah, I want to know, are you guys saved? Have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Were you baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins? Are you living a daily life of repentance? Because we live in these fleshly bodies, the flesh is always warring with the spirit. Are you reading God's word, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer and cry and, and truth and sincerity and truth and crying out to the Father? You go down on your knees and cry out to him in sincerity and truth and read his word so you can hear from him? And if you don't know him and you haven't heard from him, you don't have that personal relationship with him, keep crying out to him to hear from him. He knows when you're sincere or not. He knows your heart. And um, please live a daily life of repentance. Repent daily because we live in these fleshly bodies. And the flesh is always warring with the spirit. You know, when people repent, that means to turn away. It doesn't mean you just repent and then you go back and you're doing some of the same things. If you know you're not living holy and you know and having the intentions of living holy, then don't even bother. Because the devil already got you. You belong to him. Do you hear me? Nobody, no, as long as you're alive, you have a you have that opportunity to seek the Lord. And he wished for you. We all wish that nobody should perish. We want all to come to the Lord. The Lord loves us all. He has no respect to persons. But you're not going, you, you're not going to pretend or be a lukewarm Christian and stand on the side and pretend, I love the Lord, but then you want to do everything the world do. You can't do that. When you love the Lord, you're going to live for the Lord because you truly love him. I tell you the truth because I love you all and Father God loves you more. Let us say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. For all of us, that is. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning to another glorious day that you made, Lord. Father, thank you for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. And we all love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 7, a question about going without eating. On the fourth day of Chislev, the ninth month of the fourth year that Darius was king of Persia, the Lord again spoke to me. It happened after the people of Bethel had sent Shereza with Regan Melech and his men to ask the priests in the Lord's temple and the prophets to pray for them. So they prayed, should we mourn and go without eating during the fifth month as we have done for many years? It was then that the Lord All-Powerful all told me to say to everyone in the country, including the priests, For seventy years you have gone without eating during the fifth and seventh months of the year. But did you really do it for me? And when you eat and drink, isn't it for your own enjoyment? My message today is the same one I commanded the earlier prophets to speak to Jerusalem and its villages when they were prosperous, and when all of Ju Judah including the southern desert, and the hill country was filled with people. So once again, I, the Lord All-Powerful, tell you, see that justice is done, and be kind and merciful to one another. Don't mistreat widows or orphans or foreigners or anyone who is poor, and stop making plans to hurt each other. But everyone who heard those prophets stubbornly refused to obey. Instead, they turned their backs on everything my spirit had commanded the earlier prophets to preach. So I, the Lord, became angry and said, You people paid no attention when I called out to you, and now I'll pay no attention when you call out to me. That's why I came with a whirlwind and scattered them among foreign nations, leaving their lovely country empty of people and in ruins. Hmm. God's willing on Monday we come back still in the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, the Lord's promises to Zion. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Nobody else died for your sins. You have to choose you to say whom you're going to serve. 
Choose either say whom you're going to serve. Okay? That's all I can say. Don't let your free will cast your butt into the lake of fire. Okay? All right. I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, including all the babies in the womb. And also a blessed weekend. I love you all. And so does Father God. He loves you more. God bless you. Bye-bye.